Hello and welcome to Friday's Masterclass edition of uh, Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to attempt the Times crossword, as Mark and I have been doing uh, for the last several weeks, probably the last quarter, actually, um, at least. And today, I'm very pleased to tell you, uh, because I look forward to this, the time snitch is right up there. It's 130, um, which means that this is going to be a true challenge. In fact, let's, um, let's just click the stats page and the first time there I believe is in terms of so not a professional typist Nathan Panning might not be a professional typist actually but Verlaine that's definitely a real time so nine minutes it, it means it's very difficult basically Andy Fisher 12 nearly 13 minutes and Andy Fisher quite often gets it done in about five minutes so that gives you an idea of how hard this is let's click play hopefully that won't uh, prevent this from launching here we go let's go empty for heater and that's going to be fa <laughs> we'll empty out the word for heater very hot on the outside in the main well i mean my reading of this i haven't got it it is that it's going to be an emptying of the word for heater so it's going to have an f and an a and they're going to have a word that means very hot on the outside of that so fa is in the middle i think and in the main thing is the main whenever you see the word main in a cryptic crossword you need to be aware that main uh, as in the spanish main it's an old word for the sea so when it says in the main it could be sort of submarine or something like that but i haven't got it uh, let's try one down short stout person rowing up to the halfway mark. Hmm. Stout person. Or person rowing. I mean, person rowing up to the halfway mark makes me think we need to come up with the name of a person who rows like a, an, well, it's going to have to be an even number, number of letters, like stroke but it's only half the word but str is probably the end of the word and that doesn't feel right so stout could be ale short could be mm, short could be terse i um I'm, I'm, all of the synonyms i'm thinking are useless bad brain naughty brain periodically uh cheers up oh well, cheers up is very often the, the word at and that is because <laughs> if you say cheers to someone you're saying thank you uh, which has a shortened form of which would be tar and in a down clue if you reverse if you turn up the word tar you get at so I'd be quite surprised if this doesn't bring in with at uh, at times maybe periodically given oh given what you may be reading now well you might be reading the times newspaper if you're doing the times crossword so at times is definitely going to be right let's try and use those checking letters so nine across company that delivers bagging credit increases company that delivers is that going to be something like dhl or something or fedex bagging credit well credit can be cr uh, that is a valid abbreviation but credit could be also if you give someone credit you tick their work increases up ticks UPS <laughs> that's very unusual for the times goodness me yes yeah, so UPS for the company that delivers bagging credit tick increases up ticks that's that's a nice solve I'm pleased with that one 11 across live entertainment not primarily what a crossword may provide a crossword may provide a pastime a diversion amusement i suddenly thought of live and be being synonymous entertain amusement not primarily is amusement okay so i've i've backed into that one so how did i solve this well what a crossword may provide struck me as having to be the definition because i mean how could that be wordplay it it, it would be very odd for that to be wordplay um so then then I was trying to think of what the words a crossword may provide, but then I saw I saw the word live or live in the clue, and live has this short. Um, if some if something lives, it is. It, 
so live can be a synonym for b so b and i had the m and i was thinking what a crossword may provide well bemusement came into my mind and then obviously what we've got then is entertainment which is an amusement not primarily you take the primarily it's the first letter out we get bemusement so this one looks doable doesn't it briefly in some with or without mary Uh, why can't I? Oh, that's very clever. It is, it is in some, and I've only just understood it. So, if 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 something is briefly, it's in some, and if it was with Mary, this string, it would be in summary. So it would still be briefly. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous. That's I'm going to tweet that one. Unless there's something better, that's getting tweeted. Maverick's just flying past. Um, Right, three down. Appeal after copper. Copper can be CU from the periodic table. It can also be P as in a penny. Uh, appeal after copper stops working case. Accusation? Acu accusative? Appeal? Uh, all I'm, I haven't got this yet, but I'm thinking that copper can be CU. I've got this C in the clue. And if copper stops something, and sometimes cryptic crossword so setters use stops as in corks, you know, so it's put in the middle of something in order to stop it. Um, so that could give us this sort of construction. And then I, uh, there is a, an accusative case, isn't there? You know, accusative, genitive, dative appeal after copper stops working I'm going to put accusative in I uh, accuse is it accusative or accusative I don't even know that that's appalling um, working if you're working you're active aren't you So appeal, appeal might be it. Now hang on, I need active on the outside. So that means, oh, sex appeal. Ah, so it's accusative. So there my, my poor spelling. Um, Mark always laughs at me when I claim I'm a poor speller, but I am a poor speller. Um, and but I've, I've, thankfully, there's wordplay to help you encrypt it crosswords. So, how does this work? We've got CU for copper, and then we've got SA for appeal, sex appeal. Let's find the dictionary. Um, here we go. Here's my electronic dictionary. Now, if I type SA in there, there you go. The third thing, after Salvation Army, Saudi Arabia, there is sex appeal. Um, so, appeal here is sex appeal. SA after CU, and that all stops a word that means working, which is active, to give us the case, the accusative case. Um, now, oh, we've got a B in this one. We've had that B for a while. Short, stout person, a person rowing up to the halfway. It could be person rowing, of course, as well, couldn't it? Like somebody who's rowing up to the halfway mark short so i keep thinking of tom thumb i don't know why i'm thinking of that i mean tom thumb was short but um oh the empty fajita well where's the fa going it could go there but that would be a really strange start to the word so i prefer it here let's just put f in right <laughs> let's put the f in and just just stare at this for a moment can we think of a wow where's it gone i want to think of a word that means in the main seafaring searing that's very hot there we go good right so what's this one squat squib person rowing squabbler a squab squab mean very a short stout person 
Oh, maybe it is, because squabbling, if you're squabbling, you're rowing. And then if I drop half of the word squabbling out, that would be the bling at the end, and that would give me squab. A short, stout person is a squab. Might be. It feels like a word that might mean that. I'm not immediately au fait with it, I don't think. Squib, I've heard of. It's in a damp firework. Um, I think that might be right. I'm going to leave it leave it in. I can justify it as well. And it's got three check letters out of five, so it'd be very unfortunate if this is wrong. Um, so five down. Let's try that. Venue for sports fan. Getting snack food. Ground nut. Yeah, okay, your sports fan. Sports fans go to a ground to watch sport. A snack might be a nut and a food ground nut. Ah, no. Okay. I think this is a different construction, actually. Venue for sports is ground. And then a fan is... A fa if you're a fan, you're a nut. You might say, I'm an ACDC nut. If you were not like me. I like ACDC, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a nut. Um, anyway, let's go 10 across. Casual worker, missing work. Oh, miss. Casual worker, missing work to begin with. I want that to be offhand. Yeah, I mean, it is offhand. I was just trying to think of synonyms for casual. Okay, and the way this works, I was try also trying to think of words that might begin with op, because OP is a very common abbreviation for opus in cryptic crosswords. But the way this works is slightly different. Casual is the definition. A worker is a hand. And then missing work, a word for missing work at the beginning. If you're missing work, you're off work. So off goes before hand, gives us off hand, which is the answer. And we get an F in six down. Okay, well, this is fairly straightforward, actually. So story, if you tell a story, you tell a fib, or another short synonym for fib is a lie. And that includes Fitzgerald's opening sentence. So it's not F. Scott Fitzgerald here. We're not talking Great Gatsby. We're talking about just the letter F, which is the, fit, the opening letter of the word Fitzgerald. That goes inside. And a sentence, it's not talking about grammar here. We're not talking about sentence structure or part of you know part of a paragraph we're talking about the sentence you might get if you get sent to prison and one of prison sentence is life um, so life is the answer and let's have a look at the six across might one be a surrogate father might one be a surrogate father. I'm I don't know why. My brain is saying liger here, which is a cross between a lion and a tiger. I have no idea why my brain is saying that, and I can't think it's the right answer. But sometimes you should trust your instincts. So I'm just pausing to think about why. Why is my brain saying that to me? I don't think it is that. I don't know why. Um, now, we could... Let's just give seven down a look in case we get it. Bread and a little butter. When you see, okay, I'm just going to stop there. A little butter. There are two short synonyms that we might find in cryptic crosswords for a little butter, believe it or not. One of them is fairly okay, which would be a pat. Um, so you, you, you might have heard of a pat of butter. And that's just normal. The other one, which is a total outrage, is ram because a butter is something that butts and rams butt with their horns and their heads so you might see bread oh chapati oh it is chapati oh so pat was right it wasn't ram um so chai as in chai tea is a spicy drink and that has pat in the middle of it, and a chapati is bread. Now let's go, it wasn't liger. Let's go back here. One might be a surrogate father. Uh, I should just be able to write this in, but because my brain is totally and utterly substandard, I can't. Might one be a surrogate father? What is wrong with you, man? Why can you not just do that? Locum. 
A locum is someone who stands in. It might be a surrogate. Oh, I don't know whether this is right. I've heard of locums as in doctors. You know, you get a locum who stands in. But do you get locums as in the priesthood? So if you do you get a locum who might stand in for a, a bishop or a priest who's been ill? In which case, a surrogate father might be a father as in a religious father. And that could be locum. I'm going to put locum in and see if it, so this might be middle age maybe or medium or something. Middle, middle Earth. Oh, hang on. Middle Ear. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> okay, you're not going to, you're probably not going to catch me out on Tolkien. I am quite a big Tolkien fan. Um, so when I saw Tolkien's realm and I have M blank D, I'm thinking Middle Earth. And then, then my brain sort of hammer and anvil. I know that in the Middle Ear, there are tiny little bones, I think, which are called the hammer and the anvil. Um, so it's extremely tough. That's the extreme letters of the word tough, the T and the H are removed from Middle Earth and where the hammer and the anvil are are the Middle Ear. Very nice. So locum seems to be correct. I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure there are not going to be other any other words that fit L blank C blank M are there? None. Mm, I don't think so. So I think that's probably right. Let's try 12. Booty from large house picked up. Hall? Yeah. So this is a homophone, by which I mean we need to think of a word for a large house, and you might think of words like manor, or a hall, H-A-L-L, -L, that's a large house. Um, and if we, if we hear that word, um, if we hear the word H-A-U-L, it sounds exactly the same, but a hall would be a, you know, your booty, your treasure. Um, so hall is going to be the right answer there. The only thing to watch out for with the homophones is to make sure make sure that you don't put the answer as that and the reason we know this isn't the answer is it's the large house that's being heard so booty is the definition and the, the cryptic crossword setter will be very careful uh, about that at that point they will definitely indicate which part of it which which is the thing you're hearing rather than which is the answer let's try 14 we might which we go for reset or beset not firm, unset, figure in French radio, unset, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, this is a bit of a pun. I would have probably given this a question mark um, because you might have heard of a radio set. I think what this is saying is that in French, no, okay, no, this is fine. It doesn't need a question mark. I thought it was punning on unset word set is not a French word so I was thinking that was a bit naughty but it's not it's saying the definition is not firm if something's not firm it's unset a figure in French is a number in in French and the number one in French is a ah, or un um, so I think that's what this un is it's just saying write down a number in French and then a radio a synonym for radio is a set so that just goes in there we get the starting letter for 14 down. Not in, out. <laughs> Country club can be CC. With tree outside for all to see universal. Mm. Not in, un. Un. I'm not sure about this one. Um, tree outs. You see, for all to see is often a reference to cinema classifications. And if you go and see a U film, it's universal. It's for all to see. So often the word, the letter U is used as a synonym for for all to see. And here we seem to be being told to put the name of a tree, tree outside a U. And then we've got this oh country club mm. country club in cryptic crosswords can sometimes be the un which is a or the eu indeed a club of countries literally a, a club of countries rather than a country club when one might go to if one was very rich um so un 
Now we need a word for tree, a tree. So we're looking for a six letter word for a tree. And we're going to put U in the middle of it. And the whole thing will mean not in. So I'm thinking of unfashionable, something like that. If something's not in, it's un... I don't know. Let's see if we can get this. Is this pole vault going across? A European is a pole, someone from Poland. Arriving at a chamber, a chamber is a vault. And, a ve and an event in athletics is a pole vault. So we need a... Oh, pop unpopular. A poplar is a tree. Uh, put the U in the middle of it and we get unpopular which is not in something's not in so i was thinking of fashion and it, it is it is it is indeed along those lines now should we try the short one beginning with p let's go for that man with issue twice a year okay this is this is perhaps tricky if you've not done a lot of crosswords but if you've done a lot of crosswords it's not tricky man with issue i mean it's outrageous really it's outrageous that i can write this in and think it's a giveaway giveaway I mean, it shows that my mind is completely warped. Um, if a, a man has issue, it means he's he's a father, because issue is sort of a colloquial term for one's offspring. <laughs> so, a papa, a father. So it's a it's a synonym for a father, which is papa or papa. Uh, twice a year. Well, if something is a year, it's per annum, pa. So twice pa is papa. And that's the answer. I mean, I, I accept that, that is ludicrous. It's ludicrous that I can think that simple, but that's just how long I've been doing cryptic crosswords. And this is looks like lapwing to me, but I've not looked at the clue. Oh, it's not, isn't it? It's, it's Laplanck, which I also don't know how to spell. I really hope that the wordplay is going to help me here. There's, oh, there's something like a Laplanck multiplier, isn't it? Climbing mountain, that could be Alp, in pretty fabric. Oh, Laplace, maybe I'm wrong, it's not Laplanck. Climbing mountain must be Alp reversed. And pretty fabric sounds like lace to me rather than Lank. So maybe it's, La, maybe it's Laplace. I'm not sure about that. I've not heard of Laplace. Pretty fabric, beginning with L-A. That's not lace. I'm not coming up with anything. Hmm, okay. I'm, I'm, I think the wordplay is directing us in this direction. If the checking letters justify it, we'll leave it in. So 25 across. Hide, leather. Eastern articles in both hands. Well, both hands, I'm thinking, might be left and right, L and R. So how is this working? Oh, yeah, I can actually see that. Right, it is leather. So leather is hide. That's just a straight definition. Eastern is E. Articles, well, the indefinite article is A, and the definite article is the. So A and the, join the E inside L and R for both hands, and we get leather. So not too difficult if you're familiar with naughty crossword tricks. Now this one's easier. Whenever you see the word sum in a cryptic crossword, always be aware you might be looking, the answer might be spelt out in the clue um, because we might be taking some of the letters of the next words. And if you look at perfum perfumier he interested and look inside, we know that it begins with R, R-H-E-I-N, Rhine. Uh, and it, Eau de Cologne locally. Um, Eau de Cologne, water of yeah. So it's it's a river that runs through Cologne, the city, um, which would be the Rhine. So it's, it's it's a bit punny, isn't it? But that's fine. Now, can we get this? Is this then character from Jerusalem? I name in support of peace. I think this is Shin, which I think is a letter in the Hebrew alphabet, but I'm not terribly good. Aleph, I want to say, is a letter in the Hebrew alphabet, uh, but I don't know my Hebrew alphabet. So I'm, I'm very much relying here on the word play. So I'm thinking I name, well, I is I, N is name. It's a valid abbreviation for name. 
and that's in support of well it's a down clue so it's 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 holding up peace well peace i think is going to be shh as in a call for peace And again, you know, it's one of these ones that I'm not, I'm not certain is right. But I don't think I'm going to come up with anything better. Okay, and we've done it. We've done three quarters nearly. Uh, once, let's try this one. Alcohol. Uh, I was thinking of grenadine, but that's not really alcohol. Alcohol and some cocaine. Last bit of crack. Um, so we've got a lot of vices going on in this clue, haven't we? Alcohol and some cocaine. Um, I don't know that. 15 down. Privileged person with clout, drunkenly punching twit. I think this is going to be... Clout drunkenly is screaming anagram of clout at me. And that's drunken, uh, that, what well, drunkenly is the anagram indicator, but that's punching. So I feel like if you like a hole punch would make a hole, wouldn't it? I think, I think we've got to put an anagram of clout in the middle of a word for a twit, which is going to be blank R blank blank. I should just know that. And it's going to be the name of a privileged person. No, oh, is it, or is it culture? Uh, hang on, cult. Privileged person with clout drunkenly punching twit. Um, O U L T. Oh, something like Plutocrat might work. Pratt is a twit. Oh, I'm sorry, that took me far too long again. Brain, brain, freeze. Um, but okay, there you go. You can see there's an anagram of clout there, and that goes in Pratt, and we get Plutocrat, which is a privileged person. Let's go back here then. So this is the alcohol. Alcohol, am I getting visited by a little person? I'm not sure. That might be about to happen. Um alcohol with some cocaine last bit of crack last bit alcohol um come on simon i don't know it's just not it's just not occurring to me let's try that one then henry quits asian bank perhaps he goes in last tail ender i think it's a cricket reference i haven't understood the word play at all but the tail ender is the last player in a game of cricket so how's this working henry quits henry can be h or how quits asian oh thai okay so a thai is someone from thailand t-h-a-i so henry h is quitting that and then a bank is a lender. Lovely. Okay. So tail ender is right. Now we've got an I at the end of 22 down. Call E.T. Chat GPT Capital. <laughs> AI. Um, so we're looking for a capital here, aren't we? And why can't I write that in? This is getting... Oh, this is getting terrible. Dubai. Dub. Okay. If you dub, dub someone something, you call them it. And then AI is Chat GPT. This is this is the Times crosswords attempt to get with the uh, get modern uh, and capital Dubai. Okay, here we go. The spirit, the spirit. Oh, is this another reference to of Henry the Fourth? Say, spirit. I mean, I'm thinking this is going to be the name of an alcoholic spirit, but I have to say. That's not jumping out at me. Let's try this one. Um, group receiving direction before start of long march. Group receiving direction. 
before start of long. That could be L, literally the starting letter of the word L. And then the whole thing is a march. Ugh. Don't know. 23 down. Day could be D with stormy rain. One spent. Oh, a dinar is some as part of the Al Algerian currency. I mean, if you'd asked me what's the currency of Algeria before we'd started this puzzle, I wouldn't have known it. But but once you have a bit of wordplay, it seems very likely, doesn't it? So that, that puts pay to my start of long. Um, group receiving direction. Before start of long march. I should know that. Uh, I just don't know. 13 down. This would be a really useful one. Looks like an anagram, but maybe not. Kind of green. Plan to recycle. No, I can't. I can't split that up into 10, 10 letters. I mean, it looks like an anagram of green plan, but green plan's only nine. And that, although in the listener crossword, O is a valid abbreviation for of. I haven't seen that really in the Times crossword. Kind. A kind of green. I'm thinking like lime or olive. Plan. To recycle. No question mark at the end either. Kind of green plan. I don't know. Oh dear, this, this, this is obviously where the hard stuff comes in, in this bottom right. One getting into flash car. Hmm, car question mark as well. And is this, is this a cryptic definition or is this an and lit? Or is it normal and it's just a funny a funny pun on the on the meaning of car and we need to put one or i or a into into a word that means flash i was i thought of blur but i don't think that's that feels right one getting into an enterer <laughs> a flash car is a beamer oh racer yes it is an anlit Okay, so it's one. A synonym for the word one is an ace. If you get a one, a hole in one in golf, you get you get an ace, uh, and that goes into a Rolls Royce, an RR, um, and the whole thing. So the whole thing here is the definition, and the whole thing is the word, word pay because a racer is someone who might get into a flash car, and one ace getting into a flash car, which is a roller, RR, uh, Rolls Royce. Is it also works from a wordplay perspective. Right, can we get this then? Perverse creature who might pinch twirling girl attending many parties. Girl attending many parties. A twirling girl attending many parties, no less. Is that some sort of creature who might pinch? That, that sounds like a crab. Crab. I think it might be crabbed. Okay, here's my here's my rationale for this. Um, I think crabbed or crabbed might be a word that means perverse. Not sure, and I'm not going to use the dictionary until either I know I'm sure of the answer, so I'm showing you something I know, or it's the end of the puzzle and we're coming back and reviewing it. So. I think this might mean perverse. A creature that might pinch or who might pinch is a crab. That's my, that's my uh, impersonation of a crab. And twirling, well, that's a reversal. of The girl attending many parties were a deb, as in a debutant. Um, you know, it's an old, old, again, times crossword. Oh, is this Bourbon? Um, uh, a girl who attended many par parties would be a girl coming out as a debutant. So why is this Bourbon? Was Henry the Fourth a Bourbon? I don't know. Um, I mean, it looks right, doesn't it? I can't think there's another spirit that's going to go in there. And maybe was it Henry Bourbon? I don't. Was Henry the Fourth? My my royal knowledge of that time is appalling. So I'm going to go with Bourbon there. 
rely on rely on the learned viewer to uh, um, elucidate. Right, so kind, oh, greenhouse, something house, plan to recycle, kind, kind of green. I mean, could, that could be an anagram of green. Mm, don't like it, though. Plan to recycle, regenerate or something, or... Um, And we've got this one, which I should be able to get and can't. Group, group, receiving direction before start of long. What do we think? Band, is that, a band is a group. What's this before start of long march though? I don't know. Maybe a, a direction before start of long march. What's a march? Short synonym for march or a march. Ah, bobbins. Okay, so how many have we got left? We've got three left. We're going to have to get this one. This is by far the one that we should get, given we've got all these check. Oh, punch alcohol. Punchline. Last bit of crack. Beautiful. What a brilliant clue. Okay, that's such a clever clue, because as Maverick flies past again, you read the clue, it just seems to all be about drugs and vices, doesn't it? And it's not. It's about jokes, which is lovely. The last bit of a crack, the last bit of a one-liner is the punchline. Alcohol is punch. Some cocaine, if you do a line... You get punchline and then okay so now we've got an h in our kind of green plan um kind of green oh oh uh, i keep thinking of turquoise it's just not that though plan to re to recycle kind of green um gee. I'm doing my I'm doing my alphabet trawl now, which is never a good sign. <laughs> kind of green. Um I keep looking thinking of words beginning PH as well, which is probably not where we want to start. Kind of green. Plan to recycle. It's literally going to be the mo the moment I come up with any word that fits here. It will be it will be the right one. Um, uh, kind of green, kind of green plan, green eco plan to recycle. To recycle might be to re... Oh, I just don't know. Oh, what, a chart? Oh, chartreuse? Re... Oh, goodness me, that's difficult. Okay, that's right, isn't it? That must be a kind of green. I have heard of it, chartreuse. I, I mean, I'm not even sure I'm saying it correctly, but then we've got a plan, which is a chart. And if we recycle something, we reuse it. And is this Wonderland, I'm now thinking? It can't be Wonderland. What, what's that got to do with Borderland? Borderland? A group receiving. Group. Oh, direction is order. So it is, I think it's Borderland. It's a group, as in a band, receiving direction, which is an order, before the start of long, which is L. That gives us Borderland, which must be, why is March Borderland? To March, a March, is that a Borderland? I don't know. So this is very, it's a very interesting puzzle, this. 
uh, as a, from a solving perspective, because I feel like there it's just exposing several areas of ignorance in my either my general knowledge or my dictionary knowledge, and yet I'm going to click click submit, and I'm pretty sure this is right. Um, now I'm going to get hoist by my own petard. Now it is right, and yet yeah. So so there are several answers here that. I didn't know and had to get from WordPay. Let's try, let's start with squab. So is that indeed a, oh, you have to spell it right for the dictionary to have a chance. Squab, okay, a fat, yeah, I mean, it's it's there, young pigeon. See, I'd have thought, I thought a young pigeon was a squib, uh, a bit like the firework. Let's just check squib, see if that's got any connotations with pigeons. No, so my brain has mixed up those things in the past. Um, okay, a squab being a poultry fellow is not that different from squ squib being that. Uh, squab, you know, the back part of a motor car seat. I mean, these these things are very hard to know. Okay, let's. So that's that's justified squab. Um, we did accusative. We understood that in the end. We understood in summary. We understood life, chapati, middle ear unpopular plutocrat let's just check chartreuse as a type what's it say a type of green so it was a carthusian monastery it's a type of liquor i mean that's how i think i know it but if you'd asked me what it was i'd have said it was a type of alcohol and it and from that presumably comes the fact that it's a greenish yellow color as well of this color chartreuse okay fair enough we can't we can't argue let's check crabid what was crab i thought crabid might be perverse yeah there we go perverse it's right there ill-natured yeah ill-natured i get if you're i would have said someone who was crabid would be um um but perverse i didn't know but it was correct um and we've got, oh, Laplace, that won't be in the dictionary, I don't think. It's a proper name. Let's check. No, we can. We don't get any help with that. So I'll rely on the comments to tell me a lot about Laplace. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking, is it like Laplange or Laplace? Oh, I'm sure there was there was some sort of multiplier that I knew about. And I'm sure it wasn't Laplace's multiplier. Oh, I don't know. It's so long since I've done any proper maths. Um, oh, it might even have been physics. Oh, I don't know. Okay, now what else? Oh, shin. We should check shin now. Shin, there we go. Four part of the leg. Well, we knew that. The 21st letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Also, also sin there, which I didn't know. Okay, and in the acrosses, we got, well, locum. So locum must have a meaning as in the priesthood is, is my understanding based on the a deputy or substitute oh there we go especially for a doctor or a member of the clergy okay so that explains that one um bemusement hall punchline pole vault we understood all of these oh borderland for march we certainly didn't understand that Bor -bor borderland does this have a funny meaning where is it? Borderland. Here we go. A border region. That's exactly an undefined margin between two things. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to have bet any. S Did I misread the clue? Oh no, no. Hang on. Let's have a look. March along walk. A boundary. I mean, wow. A boundary. A border. Well, it's very, very clear, isn't it? I just didn't know it. A border district. Okay, that's made me feel very silly. Oh well, okay, sorry. Um, and then leather bourbon for Henry. What was this, Henry the Fourth? Let's see if there's any S bourbon. A member of the in European royal family, which ruled in France and elsewhere between the 16th and 20th centuries. Well, okay, so presumably. Henry the Fourth was a Bourbon, which I didn't know. Um, although, again, I say that with some <laughs> some trepidation uh, that my ignorance has yet again been exposed. And well, as I say, 
I think this is a triumph for experience over education in a way. Um, or <laughs> is it? What is it a triumph for over, over erudition? Um, because yeah, I, I, I have there are several gaps in my knowledge for this one, but it's a cryptic crossword, so we get two chances and we were still able to solve it. Favourite clue in sum for sure. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, so I've learned some things. I expect the comments to teach me some things. Let me know if you've learned some things too. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.